happened. I don't know. Something happened a few minutes uh, ago and we stopped recording. I hope no one stopped stopped recording. I don't know what happened, so we will uh, continue. Uh, OK, so uh, so what do you think? What would be your solution in this situation? If you are Andra, how would you behave? What would be your first step? Maybe talk to Peter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let him know that that she knows the situation. Mm -hmm. And try to see if he was manipulated to do that or something like that. Mm -hmm. And if and he's after okay, that, give mm -hmm. me some uh, solution. Yeah, if he's fine with the situation and if yeah. he agrees with this uh, uh, approach. Uh huh. Try to find a solution with Peter. Mm -hmm. So we would probably agree that uh, the basis and the first step uh, is based on communication. So it is very important to communicate this. Uh, is it is your friend or your new colleague? So it depends uh, what is your relationship and how it looks like. If you have a really good relationship with him, then uh, to uh, sit and say, hey, let's have a coffee and talk about the situation because I don't think it is fair and it is uh, it is good to do it. Uh, you might put, you may put uh, uh, all of our colleagues in danger, the company and so on. If it is only a decision of your supervisor, your boss, then we should probably report it to the headquarters of this company uh, that we know about this, uh, this situation and uh, what you were asked to do and if they agree with this and if they if they say that no it is our regular and normal practice then probably we should call the police and so on so so okay good uh, as you said first maybe we can we can try to uh, talk to peter uh, the next step would be if he depending on if he agrees and if he wants to find a solution or he says no don't take uh, don't don't think about it it's my problem and I am fine with this I will do it I have extra money for that and so on then you need to decide that okay this is not fair shall I report it to the police and shall I shall, shall I report it somewhere or not. Uh, but definitely we should start with the communication and not just to report something that we are not sure it really happened and uh, we are not sure that uh, that uh, we have all the information and so on. Um, I don't know how it is in your countries, but um, in Czech Republic, I have some additional questions below if you if you uh, can check the document. Uh, what additional information could help Andra to make her decision? As I said, for example, how good we know Peter and if the company agrees with this, uh, the whole company, if it is a regular practice or just one time practice and so on, uh, would Andra's decision making be different in a situation if she was asked by management to do this job and how would it be different? So uh, here we are talking about the fact that um, uh, we can report something that happens to us. But if we know about the situation from a friend, it is a little bit different situation. So uh, just just think about this. And uh, could the whistleblowing act help Andra? Do you know what is whistleblowing act? Oh, uh, we didn't hear the last part, Professor. What is the whistleblowing act? Can you repeat the, the micro cut it? Uh huh. Okay. I hope so. Uh, I hope it no, now it's okay. Now it's okay. it's okay. So okay. the whistleblowing act, if you know what it is, and if you have it in your country. Uh, I don't Do know, know what it is. That. Okay. So <laughs> uh, act is the laws. Yeah, is the law, and whistleblowing. If you heard about this term. Uh, whistleblowing is to protect people who know about certain situation and uh, who want to, uh, for example, they know that there is some unethical or illegal practice happening in their company and they know about it. So this is a whistleblower if he wants to report it somewhere. And uh, now there is, a, there is a, yes, to report some wrongdoing exactly. As, uh, uh, thank you for, uh, for writing it in, in the chat. So uh, there, this act should protect these people 
who are reporting such a behavior which is happening in their companies, they found out that there is sexual harassment or they will find out that uh, there is uh, someone uh, accepting bribe in their company, uh, there is a corruption or uh, any other practices. So this act uh, should protect these people. In the Czech Republic, we don't have it yet, but it is in the stage that uh, we have it in the government, and now they are they are discussing it because they are trying to uh, to give it back uh, because of certain um, certain notices that they have and comments. Uh, because it is protecting only, I think it is now protecting, or it, the, the, what is, what is, what is the suggestion is to protect only people who are not anonymous. Uh, so that's another, uh, question. If we can use this whistleblowers act, if the act should be covering also anonymous reporting, or only those uh, those people who say, yeah, it's me, I'm Sylvia Formankova, and uh, I would like to report this activity. What, what do you think? What is your perspective? And do you have this kind of act in your country? Maybe you are not familiar with this. You maybe don't know that you even have it. Have you heard in your country about, about whistleblowing and about protection of whistleblower, whistleblowers? Mm, yes. I know about protection, but uh, how to do it, I, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, we have it in my country as well, but most people are not so like coming out to do it because it has some consequences. Mm -hmm. Maybe you may say something and you may be targeted for saying that. So, mm -hmm. but they do it like um, not showing their identity. Maybe just you have to report Anonymous. something. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's showing that you are the person. So it's all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What about the others? Do you have? Do you have? Uh, have you heard about whistleblowers and uh, about protection of whistleblowers in your country? And do you think is it a good idea? Is it good to have such law which is uh, protecting whistleblowers? I think so, because if someone exposes something, it's mm -hmm. maybe because that thing it's wrong. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they kind of cannot be shut, mm -hmm. but at the same time, they need some protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fact is that uh, a lot of people are afraid of being fired or being punished if they yeah. report such activity. So that's why there is this act, this this law, which is protecting the whistleblowers. But uh, that's the question, if it should cover also those who are an anonymous and want to stay anonymously, or if uh, it should cover only those people who report under their own name. So that's a question, maybe a little bit philosophical question, but this is a question that even our uh, our people in governments are dealing with right now. So you can think about it if this uh, thing might happen, even in this case that I introduced to, which is quite a quite a frequent situation that something like that happens in business units. And um, maybe uh, if you know about such unfair practice, at least now you know that you can find out if you have in your country such uh, instruments such as this uh, whistleblowers act and you can use it uh, to um, let's say not to be afraid to report such uh, such activity nowadays a lot of companies uh, are starting to have uh, because of their social responsibility uh, sustainability they start to have their own reporting channels and uh, this whistleblowing act is actually supporting this activity that the, the uh, especially the big companies that they should have this reporting channel for uh, the whistleblowers so if anything happens the the people who are on the top of the company should be informed about this uh, and uh, do some steps which uh, are uh, which are leading to uh, prevent such situation or to uh, to cover the situation and do do it better and so on. OK, uh, so uh, do you have any questions to uh, this topic? OK. 
I don't see any questions, any raised hands or no one is uh, asking. So uh, it's a pity that we didn't have discussion with more uh, of the students because I see that there are quite a lot of students connected to uh, this meeting. But uh, uh, Juana, is it correct? Uh, my pronunciation of, of your name or are you Juana? Sophia? Joanna. Joanna, okay. Yeah. Joanna. Uh, so, Joanna, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how it is in your country. Uh, no, how to no, pronounce don't it. worry. Uh, so, Joanna, uh, thank you, uh, especially thank you for participation in the in the dialogue. Uh, you are the most active student today. And and uh, uh, if you uh, if anybody of you wants to find out more about the project, you have uh, the QR code here. Uh, because we are dealing with the academic integrity, uh, I had uh, last uh, last week I had a seminar webinar, but it was in Czech language. That's why you weren't in, uh, invited uh, about uh, citizen science ethics in citizen science. And uh, the, my colleagues are presenting different guidelines about academic integrity and so on. So if you are interested, you can you can check the project uh, here. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me. By now, I just stop recording. And then we can discuss other issues. No, it stopped recording again. No, no, it's OK. Now, fine, <laughs> stop.